Eric Nana Ajiman Prempe. Now, Frank, you were on the ground yourself. Tell us about your own, your own assessment of what you know happened on Monday. Um, uh, we, we did receive uh, a call that is very late at night in the hours of 8 p.m. thereof from my municipal director uh, informing us of uh, an issue at uh, Jeremiah Anglican Secondary School. So we were there in the morning together with my director general. Uh, he also did call very late, uh, deep in the dawn of the following day, like 1 a.m. So we all rushed into the scene. And going with first, like uh, I think you've had all the bites of the sound bites from all angles mm. where we went to the hospital. Then we noticed uh, that most of the students have been discharged. That is uh, 50, 28. Uh, the report that I had that very night was 46 had been rushed to the place. Uh, and looking at it, we were all praying that something extreme or bad wouldn't happen. Luckily for us, when we got there that morning, when I got to the grounds, uh, my director was still in there that they had gone to the hospital in the morning, rushed with uh, three of us. But when we visited the hospital, there was one addition that had come. Uh, given a total number of 50. Okay. But we noticed also that at that time, 28 has been discharged out of the 50 students. And there was one critical issue of which the... Yeah, that, 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 that we talked about already. But Frank, yes. I have heard some people say that we were lucky that there was no casualty, no deaths. You were on the ground yourself yesterday. Will you say you agreed to those, you know, sales? Uh, yes. Reasons being that if you look at the how the windstorm, this is a natural disaster, how it did happen, and you look how the whole roofing went up, hitting another and getting back slam on the very place that they were having their dining. You look at the situation, and there isn't any death. I would say it's a making of the Lord. Uh, it's a serious thing, but like we all witnessed uh, yesterday, uh, the structure in which they were having the design had been something that is used for quite a time. And we put our heads together, then we talked of a move to where uh, my director general, together with the municipal assembly, then the education, they are putting their hands together. Then we see how on the immediate term we are looking before, at. Before we even get there, Frank, before we get there, Frank, before we get there, before we get there, where the cook. And where these people used to eat, is it befitting for humans to, to, to cook there and then eat there? And if it's not, how come we have not been able to fix the problem up until this damage, this collapse took place? David, you do agree with me that all of our problems cannot be fixed at a time. And looking at how the structure is, uh, it's the floor, the floor is a concrete. They've given out the blocks and they've erected wood. It's something that they've gone on, but all cannot be done at a time. In getting even to the school, we got to know that there is a project which is uh, completed yet to be commissioned. So I could tell you from one stage to the other, but all cannot be done at a go. But currently, but now that there's, but now that there's, the there's, there's a problem, taken, now that there's a uh, problem, we want to go in there and do something about it. Come again? Now that it has collapsed, now that mm -hmm. it's a problem, we cannot do everything at the same time. But Thank now you. that there's a problem. We now want to go and do some temporary and some permanent fixing of the problem. If God had not, if God, had, if God, if God had not been on our side and somebody had died, yet in your now, but if somebody had died, yes, they would have been singing a different song altogether. And it's, and and glory be to God that nobody, no life was lost in there. What is important immediately on this term is to make sure that they go on with their normal activity. Then the student will be able to learn, get a place that they can go on and have their dining. In the medium term, it's what we are looking at and moving a step further to make sure that a proper thing is being, a structure being put up. So, so, so your, boss talks about, your boss talks about a temporary and then a permanent you know, structure that will be done. When yes. is the temporary one going to be done? What kind of a temporary structure are we going to have? Similar one that can also collapse in no time. And when we talk about a permanent one, how soon are we going to get that? Because he says he's going to speak to the Minister of Education. He's going to speak to the Dead Fund and all that. To Frank Dudu wouldn't give you the timeline. As to this is the time that the medium term we are going to meet. Uh, you know, there are process going. The Assembly, the Ministry of Education, 
whilst not my through my director general also championed the course the immediate firm that we are referring to act we can't just leave them they can't just sit under a tree and eat and neither can they cook jacks on a bare place and do that so we are still going to put on a temporary structure which we are going to foresee that these should there be any rainstorm it's not going to bring the same chaos through that, they can go on with their normal activity. Then we look at a proper structure. How, which how, will take care how, of this. how sure are we that when we put up this uh, you know, temporary structure, because this one was supposed to be temporary and has lived so long, 20 years and beyond. So how uh, sure are we that if we put up, if we put sure up a temporary structure... Beyond, if the structure had been there 20 years and beyond, then it would have wear off for a very long exactly, time. Exactly, because we're told by a former teacher of the place that it was overused. My question, Frank, is this. How sure are we that if we put up a temporary structure right now, it won't become a, t- a permanent thing? You, you, you need a permanent, p- proper one. How sure are we that this will be p- temporary and temporary it will remain? And then a new one will be constructed. Dave, interestingly, you are asking how sure we are. And that is what I tell you that we are working on that. And in moving, it's something that you go down there, management and things, they could speak to it for you to know. It's the structure that I saw can't be a 20 year extent. Between me and you, we know the lifespan of a wood should a uh, wafer get to it. But the problem was how it was roofed. Then the architect work that they did on the roofing was a problem. And this time around, we are looking at the engineers themselves from the assembly going in and assessing them, making sure that that temporary structure is being put out. That we wouldn't witness it. Then we move a step further in the medium term then make sure that the government is ready to help and assist. But I, like I told you, all problems cannot be fixed at a goal. And immediately, the only solution that we could do from not more our point is to make sure that we live with the assembly, then get a place immediately for them so that they can go on with their normal activities and dining. Then we push further and make sure that uh, proper thing is being done. When you were on the structure. ground, did you take the opportunity to visit other structures okay. did, you, did you visit other structures on the premise on the school campus to no, no 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 uh what happened was well, our concentration was much on uh, the issue that had happened so in entering the school we met the headmistress then off we went into uh, where the structure is but we did not tour the campus uh you you, you ask your colleagues and your media people they will tell you but again, my colleague Nanaya Ojima has told us about other structures on the on the uh, on the campus that are not solid and strong enough. But Frank, that aside, we have had concerns from teachers from other schools who have shared pictures and videos with us. And 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 you know, uh, Joel and Kate, if you don't mind, let's show the pictures and videos of other schools. There's a school here in Kumase, the heart of Kumase. When it rains here, their dining hall floods. And in the video that we're showing on Facebook right now, the students have booms and they are sweating.